before we understand gender inclusivity, we have to look at what gender really is. Gender has to do with the roles that society ascribes to men and women. So it is basically a social con construct. You go to one community, it will differ from another community. So gender inclusivity means that everybody should be allowed a space in development. When you look at um, a lot of the interventions, development interventions that have been uh, implemented so far, where there is no gender voice, um, most of those uh, development agendas, they don't actually achieve what they're meant to achieve, like we see with the sustainable development goals that have been uh, uh, issued recently, there's a lot of gender equality there, and uh, if we leave women behind, there is a, a, a huge potential that all the development interventions that we're planning to do will not be sustainable without the inclusion of women. La mayoría de los obstáculos que encontramos en mi trabajo en, en mi región es sobre uh, que hay todavía mucha falta de educación en hombres y mujeres sobre lo que implica, lo que significa, los beneficios de ser más inclusivo en temas de igualdad de género. You don't identify and address those barriers. No matter how much you want women and men to be part of programming, they will not effectively participate and equally benefit. Therefore, we need to take a step back and ask ourselves, what are those things that are making men and women not to fully together optimize their, their potential in terms of getting the economic benefits that they need to have. For women in cotton at the moment, they are more at a, a small scale level, uh, producer level, and um, the future is to move them from that ground level, move them up the value chain, where we get to see more women in cotton, more women in boardrooms, more women in the markets, more women in trading, and really that's where they, where they are at that bottom where they are left behind, but we are trying to lift them up and ensuring that they move up the, uh, the market level. And I see as an urgency in terms of the world is trying to change and we are going to try to change together. And the only way to ensure that we are changing together is ensure everybody is seated around the table. It's, it's important to improve upon the economic position of women in cocoa because um, we've come to realize that women who are empowered economically are able to support the education of their children, they're able to provide better nutrition for their children, they're able to provide better health for their children. So investing in women has a direct impact on the lives of the future generation. For my daughter, I would love to see her living in, a, in, a, in an equal world where she has equal access to opportunities, equal access to education, equal access to traditionally uh, closed platforms where it's all, all males. Uh, that is really the future that I'd like to see. Estos chocolates representan un producto que ha tardado algún tiempo en que las mujeres que los producen, Carolina, Yesenia, que son parte de la red de mujeres cacaoteras y chocolateras en Honduras, han tomado para hacer uh, as, desde la finca hasta la barra. How is it? In English, from tree to bar. 